The success of the day ahead lies within the night before. This sentence has really stuck with me for the past year or so, ever since I started taking my nighttime routine more seriously. Today, I want to show you guys my current nighttime routine, which is adapted to the colder months of the year. It's going to be chill, cozy, aesthetic, and relaxed. I am all about productivity throughout the day, but at night, I prefer things to be a bit more slow paced. My night or my evening starts right after finishing up work. This could be a lecture at uni, a practical class, or sending out emails for my job. I don't really have a set out time for when my work day ends and my night starts, as every day is a little bit different, but preferably, I start working between 5 and 6 p.m. One of the first things that I do to set the mood for the evening ahead is taking a walk. I often lack the time to head outside and to just make time for myself throughout the day. So starting my evening with a 30 to 60 minute walk while it's listening to a podcast or chatting to a friend is a necessity for me to mentally clock out of work mode and into self-care mode. Once I arrive back at home, I try to make my home as cozy as it can be, lighting a few candles and turning on some music. Honestly, on some days, I don't want a super chill vibe at this point and you will find me listening to old school One Direction or Justin Bieber whilst dancing in my living room. But today was one of those days where I just wanted a glass of wine, some jazz music and a good book. Once I'm sit down and settle down, this is also usually my time for posting on Instagram. So I do that as my last action of work. And then I try to put my phone away and read instead. Lately, I have been more into reading and less into scrolling through my phone or watching something on Netflix. It makes me feel more peaceful and it helps me with calming down because reading a book keeps my mind busy and occupied. Whereas I often find myself drifting away and losing myself in thoughts and worries about the day when watching TV. Since my days are quite busy and often stressful, both because of dental school and because of my job, I try to do everything within my power to calm down my thoughts at night so that I can give my body some well-deserved rest. After about 30 minutes, I go ahead and make myself dinner. I often cook for two to three days ahead, so a big cooking session is not always part of my night, but I try to keep it installed within my routine. Yes, I have days where I cannot be bothered with cooking, but I often find myself enjoying the time where I'm just in the kitchen, listening to music, and cooking something that I've been craving all day or trying out a new recipe. I am not a big fan of keeping my house dirty at night and then cleaning up in the morning when I'm just really tired and not in the mood to be bothered by dirty dishes, which is why I always clean up right after dinner so that I can relax for the rest of the night and I have a clean home to wake up to the next day. Clean surroundings mean a clean headspace, which is always important, both mentally and physically. Nighttime to me is quality time. 
I used to be a night owl and where I trained myself to go to bed earlier to be more productive during the day, my heart still secretly beats for the night. Everything is quiet and peaceful and it's one of the rare times of the day where I actually don't mind being on my own or not having raging conversations going on on the side. I want to focus on myself and I want to do things that I enjoy. Self-care is a big part of that for me and where I don't take baths every night, whenever I do, my nights just feel a little bit more elevated and luxurious. A bath to me is not just about body hygiene, it's truly about relaxing, reading a book, maybe watching a YouTube video and rewarding my body for all the hard work it has been doing for me, like working out, sitting on my computer with a hunchback for too long, or bending in unnatural manners when working on patients at school. Once I am out of the bathtub, I move on to finishing my skincare. I take off my makeup before hopping into the shower by double cleansing, and then I do a short but sweet skincare routine once I'm back out. I have pretty good skin naturally, but I tend to break out whenever my skin's barrier is not intact, so I have learned that following a skincare routine that protects exactly that is what helps me the most. You don't have to overcomplicate things. You do not need a 10-step skincare routine in my opinion, but take your time and figure out what works best for you. I end my nights on a very relaxed note. I try to avoid Instagram from this point onwards simply because it's kind of my job and I don't want to constantly partially worry about my career or be working. Especially when you are being self-employed or when you're a student, it is hard to actually clock out at night because you don't have exact set working hours. This is why I especially try to tune out of work or even school related things late at night. Of course there are exceptions, for example when it's finals week or I have a lot of work piling up, but not working or studying at least one hour before bed improved my sleep quality so much, I can only recommend it. Not everyone wants to put this much effort into their nighttime routine. A lot of people simply eat, shower and sleep and that's great. Some people prefer morning meditation over a self-care night in. For me however, nighttime is where the secret to my productivity lies. By doing nothing at night, I can do the most during the day. But not every night of mine looks like this. I have a lot of days where I work up until late, I barely manage to eat something for dinner, or nights where all I do is binge watch a new show on Netflix. There's no such thing as the one perfect nighttime routine, not for me as an individual, nor for everybody else, generalized. It always depends on the current situation that you're living in, but by listening to your body and giving it back what it needs, you already lay a great fundament for the next day ahead. We'll take a breath, let it all in, show me the place. Your mind has